All right, so I came down here to the creek today. Uh, I believe it's well over 100 degrees. And uh, I haven't been out here in a while. I haven't been out here hardly at all this summer. And what I'm trying today is I've got a uh, EWG hook with a, uh, a Z-Man. Uh, and I can't remember what these are called. But they're floatable worms. They're kind of thick, but they're super light, super floatable. I've got a little uh, bullet weight on it with a stopper up here. So we're going to try these. Uh, so these are going to land on the bottom like this. And they're going to, th that tail is going to float up and just kind of do that in the water. It's going to want to escape, but that weight's holding it down. So it's going to stand up like that. We'll see what happens. Immediately got a hit. And I'm going to set it. Yep, we got one on. What do we got here? I cannot tell yet. Looks like a uh, uh, sunfish. Yeah, big old sunfish. That's a good sized sunfish. On. Let's set it. Nope. These must be small fish. So they are they cannot put this hook and worm in their mouth. I might have to try to do something different. Alright, so I moved down to a another spot. I didn't want to go any further. It's a pretty rocky trail. I just stopped here. And I'm going to go down, uh, way down there. All right, got my second green sunfish, but what I'm really eyeballing is some, uh, some spotted bass. That's what I am after. Nibble. See from here what that is. Oh, it got me something. I think that's a spotted bass. That's a fighter. Yep. It's a spotted bass. There we go. That's what I was after. Yep. And I think my camera was off. Uh, it's largemouth bass. I thought it was a spotted bass. This is a uh, largemouth bass. But, uh, that's what I was after. Bass. Had a couple sunfish I caught. Green sunfish. Finally got a got a bass. That's what I've been after. All right, I haven't wanted to do it. I think I'm gonna throw over this log. It's really shaded, and hopefully the fish don't go under the log. Oh, wow. fish on! I didn't even know it. It's a fighter too. Uh, that's a spotted bass. That's what I was after. Look at that thing. That's healthy. That's a healthy spotted bass. He stealthily, stealthily took that thing. That's a, that might be close to a solid pound. That's, that's healthy. Yeah, that's what I was after right there. Nice spotted bass. Let's get this hook out of its mouth. Look at there. It's a nice bass. Let's put him back in. Ooh, he's fast. So I'm getting in on this uh, EWG hook. I got a little bullet weight on it with a, with a stopper about six inches away from the tip of this worm. There's a bullet, uh, a stopper. So this bullet weight can only travel about six inches and it stops. EWG hook, I got a Z-Man. I cut off about a third of it, so I shortened it up, and that's that's what I'm getting fish on so far. Let's try it again. Let's see what we got. 
Yep, trying, he's trying, he's trying. Let's see, did I get it? Got something. What did we get? That looks like a small spotted bass. Yep, it's a baby spotted bass. Little guy. And he is wiry. Hang on. that small body spotted bass that's that's tiny he's not even half a pound he's like a third a pound all right let's throw this guy back in so he can grow up and get a little bit bigger off you go throw over there let's see what we got hope the tree's not in the way that's in the water And I think I hooked the tree. What I didn't want to do. Yeah, I definitely hooked the tree. So in this instance right here, I'm using braided line, but I have a about a five foot fluorocarbon leader. So I'm not flooding this creek with all this braided line. So I'm gonna pull this off and my, uh, my braid will still be on there. I'm not leaving all this crap in the water. Let's see what we got. Oh, actually, my fluorocarbon line is still on there. It just it just took the hook off. That's right. I was wanting to try something different anyway, so I'll put on a new hook or a new. Uh, I'm pulling a swivel. Throw some whopper ploppers, rooster tails. Let's try that. All right. So uh, I threw on the rooster tail for a few casts. Nothing right there. They might not be wanting to chase. Uh, this whopper plopper, I might be throwing it in vain, so to speak. But the thing is, I can chunk this across the creek. I can hit the other bank. And that's what I'm wanting to do, hit the other side of the bank, hit all that shade in there, and see if something will come to the surface and just smack the end of this tail right here. We'll see what happens. Oh, there we go. Well, that kind of scared me. I was looking down for a second. Goodness, that scared me. Spotted bass. There we go. Another nice spotted bass. Look at that. Beautiful. Pretty. Oklahoma spotted bass. Well, let's let this uh, this beautiful bass back in the water. There we go. That is a long cast, man. Something went after it. Something's trying to go after it. There we go. Man. All right. So they'll chase a whopper plopper right now in the heat of this day around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And what do I got here? That's green sunfish. I think something's trying to hit it. All right. It says it hit the water. Something's after it. There we go. Boy, they are after it over there in that corner. What do we got? That's green sunfish. Yep, green sunfish. Well, that fast. They're hitting this whopper plopper almost the moment it hits the water, basically. Green sunfish, spotted bass, one large mouth. What I've been catching. This is green. That's a healthy green sunfish right there. That is good size. Woo! That scared me. What followed it all the way to the bank. Another beautiful Oklahoma spotted bass. That thing. That's not too heavy. Boy, I'm reeling him in pretty easy. Yeah, green sunfish. There we got one. Spotted 
bass. That was a spotted bass that just got off. All right. All right, this is the first place I fished at. It's normally not the first place I fished at. There's a, another stop, but I skipped it. And this was the first place I fished at. So I'm coming back to it for a second with this whopper plopper. Throwing in the shade across the creek. Seeing if I can uh, land something with this. I'm going to call it a day after that. It's just too hot. And see, that thing flies. It just... It went across and hit the tree limb. I just lost a $15 Whopper Popper. Sure did. And on that note, I am calling it a day.